What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to the very first episode of our Pokemon Sword Walkthrough. And by the way, happy 10 year anniversary right here on what was my channel, DravenXC711, now Gym Leader Draven, and as you can see, we're in the beautiful region of Galar right here. Yeah, we kind of skipped over a, uh, a region because of uh, technical difficulties and stuff, you know, originally this was supposed to be Sun and Moon and all that crud, but... Yeah, that wasn't going to happen, so I went ahead and went straight forward for Pokemon Sword and Shield. Now, I don't know what to say, guys. I really don't know what to say. Uh, I'm just going to make this very, very quick before we even continue right here. Ten years ago, around this time, I uploaded my very first video, and it was my Pokemon Leaf Green walkthrough. Didn't even know how to speak. Didn't even know how to, what to do or anything. I was so nervous and all that stuff. Honestly... I was just trying it out as a hobby, but you know, a few months later, then a few years later, it became this thing right here. Uh, a few weeks ago, or last week, we were finally reached 8,000 subscribers, so thank you to all of you guys for subscribing to my channel, and uh, yeah, thank you, thank you guys for staying with me for 10 years. Those who have been with me for 10 years, thank you. Those who are just getting onto my channel right now subscribing, my name is Draven Corvone. I am the host of this channel right here. Today is the anniversary of this channel, 10 year anniversary, I should say. And you know what? What a better way to celebrate this anniversary than with the current game that's going on right now. One of the biggest things uh, for me, one of the biggest challenges was to stay updated with most of the channels that are out, uh, out on YouTube. I was never really at the game of the time and all that stuff. I was always behind somehow. But for some odd reason, like when we uh, actually switched it over to Gym Leader Draven, it finally, like we started getting updated. And I want to say it's thanks to this pandemic that's going on that, you know, I've gotten updated. So I guess there's one good thing that came out of this whole COVID-19 thing. Now, for those who are wondering, why was I absent for the last two weeks? Well, unfortunately, your, your homeboy here got a, a slight case of the COVID as well. Don't worry, guys. I'm okay. It was, uh, it was a mild thing. Mild, mild, mild symptoms. But I'm okay. Everything's fine. And I'm happy. Fine, and I'm happy to be here hosting this uh, walkthrough right here for you guys. So now, let's go ahead and just do this. Hello, hello! Oh, damn. Look at this guy. Oh, that's your Flash uh, new phone, Draven. Were you watching Lee's ex exhibition ma match on it? But you can't cheer him on with your hands full. You know the only way to properly cheer on Lee would be with his famous Charizard pose. Charizard pose? The hell? Oh look, it's my mum. It's my mum. Hop, I didn't expect to see you here today, dear. Isn't this a big day? Yeah, that's exactly why I came running over to, Dra to get Draven. Never mind watching the match now. I've got it recorded, or I've got it recording at the home anyways. I record all my brother's matches. Come with me, Draven. He should be here in any minute. And Lee always brings presents when he visits. So I wouldn't forget this uh, that bag if uh, that were you. Or if I were you, wow. As you probably already know, your boy can't still read, you know, or can't speak or whatever. I don't care. Now, I've got to run. See you, uh, mine later or whatever. Holy crud. Okay, so... <laughs> Look at this, guys. We're in a 3D world. Look at that. Oh, my God. Now, this is the second game on the 3DS, or not the 3DS, but the Nintendo Switch that we're playing on here. First one was Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. And I guess you could say, well, I guess you could say this is the third one because I am currently showcasing Let's Go Eevee unnarrated and stuff. And, well, I'm very excited to see what's going to go on. So, as you can see... Look at that, we got town map, options, and all that stuff. And on the bottom corner right there, on the right side corner, uh, the expansion pass. To be honest, I'm actually playing Pokemon Shield outside of this, and I just got into the expansion pass. I just beat the game, so kind of know what's going on right here. I'm excited. I'm very, very excited, guys, because this is going to be a lengthy walkthrough right here. So let's go ahead and uh, see what's going on right here. Let's go ahead and talk to our mum. Her mom is right here because we are in England. America number one still. Let's go ahead and talk to mum. Look at her. She's so lovely. Rushing off that state, Draven. Didn't Hop say you should bring your bag? I last saw it in your room. And don't forget to grab it a hat for the weather. Well, of course. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. 
England, London, or, you know, the United Kingdom. Cold all the time? Probably? I don't know. Correct me. And look at this. This is our room, all colorful and everything. Look at that. It's like blue Pikachu, Eevee. Uh, look at that. Nintendo Switch, of course. Whoa, hold on. What does he say right here? Hold on, hold on. The latest video game console is sitting by the telly. Oh, wow. We are in England. All right, let's grab this bag right here. My dad's old bag. Now, of course, we're still living without a dad. <laughs> kind of wonder what's going on right here. But look at that. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Still killing it right here. That's right. So the adventure guide right here says open the Xbox uh, menu. You know, you can actually save your game, get to see your town map. You don't need to get that from anybody else. So let's go right ahead. As you can see, now we got a bag and... <laughs> Well, we already got a potion. We got three of those things, and, well, apparently there is something right here. We got an adventure guide, and we get a fishing rod in this thing. So a lot of the things that, you know, you would have to go work for, find, and all that stuff, it's already in your bag right here. They took care of uh, a lot of the stuff in this game. So let's go ahead and uh, talk to our mum again. Oh, don't you look like a treat? I know, huh? That's what my girlfriend says. Look like a damn treat. I knew that bag would suit you. Not her long. Hop is waiting, isn't he? But remember, no going into the forest for the two of you. Well, y if you guys already know me in particular, I do what I want. Well, yeah, but I'm also fearful of my mom kicking my ass too, you know. So as you can see, Hop is waiting for you. Better head said, "How hit outside again?" Still can't read. So look at that. We're looking smashing and dashing. We're looking fit to be the next Geller League Champion. And there's our buddy, Hop. So far, uh, what I can tell from Hop is that he is the Geller League Champion's brother. And when you get to talk to this guy, this guy, yeah, <laughs> has a little bit of nepotism just because, you know, his brother's a champ, so he thinks he should be the champ. You know what I mean, guys. So Hop's here saying, ha ha ha, have a look at you, Draven. That old bag looks like it could pull you over. At least we know that it should uh, hold anything Lieb might bring, even if it's a bag as uh, big as a Snorlax. Dick. Okay, so, wow, look at these. Look at that, these, uh, these sheeps. What is it called? Oh, it's a Wooloo. A Wooloo. But what's it doing here? Oh, damn. It is trying to open that gate. Still can't open it. Hey, you silly Wooloo. I see what you're up to. Don't go using tackle on that fencing. Now, you listen. No going past that fence. No! Everyone knows that there are scary Pokemon living in the slumbering weald. Meh. Oh, wow. Now that that's taken care of, how about it, Draven? Let's race. I bet I can make it to my house first. With, uh, what, with, yeah, wait, 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 what, with you lugging, uh, about that old bag. Big old bag. You know, I'm kind of getting the feeling that this guy's being a little asshole, but we'll find out eventually. Okay, so let's go right ahead and uh, take a look at the scenery. Look at that. The mountains, the farmland. Good God, they really did a good job on just making this game and all that stuff. And welcome to the town of Postwick. A farming town since the days of old where people and their Pokemon live in close harmony. This is true. Look at that. A lot of Wulu right here. Who is this guy right here? The power of science is amazing! Now you can battle and trade Pokemon with other people just by walking around. Isn't that super amazing? Kinda is, it really is. Now, let's go right ahead. As you can see, this big old house right here is Hop's house, and wow. They got they got themselves a, uh, well, Pokemon Stadium-ish kind of field right here. And, uh, well, let's go ahead and find this guy. We can go in here, but, uh, let's see. Oh yeah, we're gonna go in here. Alright, Hop. Where in the mother-loving heck are you? And there, there's his mum right there. And uh, let's see what she has to say. Mum, is he here? There you are at last, Hop. Oh, you brought along Draven. Hello, dear. Yeah, yeah, but where's Lee? Have you got him crammed into a cupboard? He's still not here yet. For the hundredth time. Honestly, Hop, you must have learned some. Pa you must learn some patience. Yeah, this guy kind of reminds me of a little somebody from a few uh, generations ago. He's probably the only one, uh, the only just arrived at the station at Wedgehurst. Then that's where I'm going. 
You know Lee is hopeless with directions. I'll make sure he doesn't get lost on his way. Oh, will you? Yes, that probably is uh, for the best. You got to come with. Uh, you got to come with Draven. You still never met my big bro, right? You can't miss out on your chance to meet the undefeated champion. I'll wait for you on uh, on the uh, on the road. Okay. Well, um, as you can see, uh, Lee, he is a uh, yeah, he is uh, worshipped here in this house, and Hop, of course, is a uh, well, whatever. Look, look, look at that. Holy crap, this guy is worshipped. Look at that. He's got his jersey right there. He's got pictures of him posing, all the achievements. Look at that. This guy. <laughs> wow, this guy, he is worshipped in this household. Now, who is this guy right here? To Hop, his brother is a superhero. I'm assuming that's Grandpa. I do not know. Okay, so let's go to the route and find Hop. Where, oh, where could this guy be? We're just going to be walking walking and walking and there he is just uh, waiting for us ever so cunningly and all that stuff let's move on only remember Draven wild Pokemon can come out of nowhere if you walk through patches of tall grass I got my Wooloo with me so I'm ready for battles against wild Pokemon of course but not you Draven so we'll steer clear of the grass as we go Wow okay so technically his first Pokemon is not the starter Pokemon it's a Wooloo. And as you can see, there is a huge crowd waiting for us over there. So here we are in Route 1 without any Pokemon right here. Now, I see a Pokeball right there. But like good old Hop says, yeah, we can't go through the patches because we got no Pokemon right now. So let's move on. Uh, well, what are you doing? Let's go meet Lass at the station. It's dead ahead from here. Okay, alrighty. So yeah, we got no business into the patches right now. All we need to do is go straight right here and uh, find uh, the man, the myth, the legend. Here we are in Wedgehurst. And, well, the crowd here is ready to just be amazed. Look at this guy. Wow, he, he, he is, uh... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> I'm just scratching my head right now. This guy right here is... Wow. <laughs> so here's Leon. Hello, hello, Witchers. Your champion Leon is back. I promise I'll keep doing my best to deliver the greatest battles for you all to watch. It's our unbeatable champion. Leon, you and Charizard are the greatest. Well, thank you for that. I hope you'll, uh, you'll all carry on training up your Pokemon and never shy from a battle. Then go and challenge me for the champion title. We're on it. We've, uh, we've all been working on our battle skills just like you taught us, Lee. Wow, this guy is very influential and, uh, oh wow, look, let's see. But, all, but that charger of yours is too strong for the likes of us to take on. Too true, that Charizard is blazingly strong. But other Pokemon can be strong as well. That's why I want, to, uh, want the strongest challengers to fill the gym challenge and come battle me. Oh wow, can't, still can't read. My wish is for Galar's trainers to work together to become the strongest in all, in all the world. Look at that. Charizard, majestic as hell. Look at this guy. Lee! Hop! Oh, damn. The brothers reunite right here. So, my number one fan in the world in all the world has come out uh, of his way to pick me up. Look at you, Hop. I reckon you've grown exactly an inch and a quarter since the last, the last time I saw you. Bingo! That's the sort of sharp eye that's kept you undefeated so long, eh, Dre Lee? And these bright eyes over here? I've got it. You must be Draven, am I right? I've heard loads about you from my little brother. I'm the Gala region's greatest ever Pokemon champion and a massive Charizard fan, too. People call me the Unbeatable Leon. Do they really call you the Unbeatable Leon? Or are you just calling yourself that? I, I, you know what, I'm not even going to nitpick on this one right here. Come on, uh, come on, Lee, and you, Draven. I uh, bet I can beat the both of you back home. Pretty sure. That Hop always wanted uh, to be the best, isn't he? With a proper rival of his own, I bet he'd push himself to become something truly special. Well, everybody, I bid you farewell today, but don't you fret. You know, you know who he reminds me of, guys. He reminds me of the great Saiyan man with all those poses. That's who he reminds me of. Okay, I'll always be around to make sure everyone is in, in Galar. Can I uh, have a champion uh, time? 
champion time. Wow. Alrighty, homeboy. So uh, we're all on our way, and uh, you forgot your Charizard right there. Oh wait, he's flying. Never mind. Okay, so moving on ahead. Here we are back in the house, and well, Hop is ready. He's like, "Come on, Lee. You promised us a present, so out with it." You brought Draven and me Pokemon. You did, didn't you? I know you must have. Right then, the greatest gift of poke uh, from a greatest champion. It's showtime, everyone. Okay, so it's time. It's time. Take a good look at uh, look, you two. The grass type Pokemon Grookey. The fire type Pokemon Score Bunny. And the water type Pokemon Subble. Look at these guys. Oh damn. Oh damn. Wow. Oh wow. <laughs> they just went in their element right there. Holy jeebus. Oh wow. And wow, this guy automatically found his Aw. Look at that. Oh wow. <laughs> Man, these Pokemon are more playful than the other starters. Aww. Poor Sobble. Aww. Look at these guys. I really like these Pokemon. Alright, line up everyone. Look at this. Which one will you choose? Oh, wow. Okay, so... <laughs> it's time, guys. It's finally time to choose our starter... And, uh, well, Hop is right here. He's like, go on, you pick first. I've already got my Wooloo after all. Okay, so... This is it, guys. The, uh, you know, the choosing of the starter Pokemon. And as many of you guys already know, I posted it up on my community page and let you guys decide which Pokemon I should start with since, you know, Pokemon X, I kind of chose it on my own. So, as you can see, we got Grookey, the grass-type Pokemon. From what it says right here in the, uh, well, I mean, I'm just reading the, the page right here. So from what it says right here in the guide, Grookey is a grass-type Pokemon that grows to have high HP and high attack. Focus on training it to use physical moves for its chunky damage-dealing Pokemon that can take hits. Grookey may be slower than the other Pokemon, but its high HP will keep it on the field, which is a very, very good Pokemon right there. Now, the next Pokemon right here, Score Bunny, the Fire-type Pokemon. The fire type Pokemon Score Bunny is attack and speed grow more quickly than its other stats. Train Score Bunny to develop it uh, in, into a fast Pokemon that can deal high damage in quick bursts to compensate for Score Bunny's lower defense and special defense. So that right there is something uh, that you guys should look for. Now here we have Sobble. Sobble, the water type Pokemon, excels in special attack and speed during your adventure. Training it would build its strength, and in these two stats will help deal big damage to the opposing Pokemon before you know what hit them. You'll want to KO. Uh, you won't. You'll want quick KOs since Sobble's, you know, kind of lacking on HP now. Like I said, guys, I posted it up on my community page. The decision was all yours, and I'm going to. I'm I'm actually gonna come out come out with it right now. I'm just like looking at my page right here. So let's see. Let's see, let's see. Okay, so two weeks ago, I've updated it and I gave you guys the choice. Now with 16% we got Sobble. Unfortunately, Sobble I yeah, Sobble I see what kind of Pokemon it has. Like it will become it does become a very good Pokemon. But many of you guys thought that, yeah, maybe I, we, we should pick something else. Now, the most popular Pokemon out of the three, of course, happens to be the fire type, Score Bunny. Now, I did play, or I am playing Pokemon uh, Shield, and I did choose uh, I did choose Score Bunny, and it does become a very, very strong Pokemon. But in this region right here, yeah, there's a, well, there's a lot more Pokemon out there that I kind of want to use in place of you know, Score Bunny as the main fire type Pokemon. As many of you guys already know, Score Bunny scored a 34% on all the votes. So the winner by 50%. Yes, sir. We're gonna be choosing the grass type Pokemon Grookey. Look at this guy right here. The grass type Pokemon Grookey, eh? It's it's soothing like a nice long walk in the woods. The grass type Grookey it is? 
Yes, it is. So we choose Grookey right here. And, well, I did come up with a good nickname. It will eventually become into, like, this grass-type silverback uh, gorilla. And for me, I'm kind of thinking to myself, okay, is there anything out there that kind of, like, resembles a silverback gorilla of sorts or anything like that? Many of you guys would think, eh, call it Donkey Kong. Nope. I'm thinking something else. Now, I'm old school. If you guys don't remember, back in the 90s, there was this cool show called Beast Wars. Yes, guys, Beast Wars. And if you guys already know what I'm talking about, yes, I'm going to be calling this Pokemon Optimus. Or Optimal Optimus. How, like, we, we, we got 12 letters. Okay, let's see. Optimal. Let's see. Optimal. Let's see. I'm getting, like, a lot of messages right now. Okay. Optimal. Oh, we got enough. Yeah. Op. Oh, damn. Okay. So we can't name it Optimal Optimus. So we're going to be... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Okay, so we kind of screwed up right there. But eventually we're going to nickname him Optimus. Ah, uh, balls. So there it is, guys. We got ourselves Grookey or Optimus. And... So it'll be nice for... Uh, it'll be Grookey for you. Nice one. Then I'll go with Sobble. You're mine. As you can see, guys... Your rival will be choosing the Pokemon whose type has a disadvantage towards you. So what what happens to the Pokemon that does have an advantage towards you? Well, this game has it covered. I'm aiming to be the next champion, so be ready. You and I are, are, are doing some serious training. Look at that. So, well, Hop actually has two Pokemon right there. So as you can see... Leon's like, I bet you will hop. That's why I brought along these Pokemon for you and Draven. So the two of you can battle and train and grow together uh, to try and reach me. As you can see, here we have Score Bunny all alone, and well, as you can see, Leon eventually takes the Pokemon that has an advantage or type advantage over you. Eventually, he does become strong, so, you know, it's all happy endings, I guess. Charizard will show you the ropes. He's strict, but strong, and real kind, too. So having Charizard as your sensei, this is going to be a dynamic duo right there. All right, enough of all these trainer nonsense for one night. Dinner's ready, children. Bring along your Pokemon, and let's all eat. Okay. Look at that. Oh, shoot. We're having a barbecue right here. Look, Score Bunny is having fun with his big brother. Charizard right here, and uh, look at my group. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> Freaking hop! Man, he probably has a bigger appetite than I do. <laughs> okay, so here we are. The next day. You spent the whole night with the new partner of yours, right, Hop? You two are getting on all, uh, all night. Understanding one another? Maybe even built up a bit of love? Of course I have, Lee. Jeremy's made fast friends with his groupie, too. Then listen up, new trainers. Believe in your Pokemon, believe in yourself. If you trust in one another and carry on battling side by side long enough, then someday you might even become worthy rivals for me, the unbeatable champion. What are you looking at him for, Lee? I'm the one who I'm the one who uh, who will be coming to challenge you. If you think Draven might be able to challenge you, then I guess he's my first rival. But I'm not planning to lose to him and miss out on any chance to beat, uh, to beat the unbeatable champion. Hmm. Okay. Just having a Pokemon with you just uh, doesn't make you a real trainer, you know. Proper trainers raise their Pokemon up to be first rate in battle, too. Oh, you think you're worthy of calling yourself a proper trainer already, Hop? Guess I'll be the judge of that. Let's see how you handle yourself in a battle against your friend, if he's up for it. What do you say? Willing and ready to take on Hop on in, in your first ever Pokemon battle of your life? Well, that's not really my first in my life, but... Sure. I'll be more than happy to wipe the floor with your little brother. Believe in your partner Pokemon, and care for them too, with all your heart. Do those things, and I'm certain you'll learn to choose the moves that suit your Pokemon. And more importantly, to have a champion time battling with them. 
Looks like everybody's on board, Pokemon and trainers alike. Then let's do this. I've watched every match that Lee's ever had. I've read every book and magazine he left behind at home too. I know exactly who to do or what to do in order to win. Oh damn. So here it is guys, the very first Pokemon battle in our Galar region history or whatever. You are challenged by Pokemon Trainer Hop right here. And this is something different. He does have two Pokemon instead of one. So now, now you're going up against two. A Pokemon battle it is then. I've got two partners with me. So right now he does have the advantage. And as you can see, I got myself my Grookey right here. Doesn't really have enough, uh, a lot of stuff right now. But luckily for us, Wulu is at level 3, so no biggie. As you can see, Wulu used Tackle. Okay. I see what you're doing right here. So let's go with another Scratch Attack. Let's go, Grookey. And in, here comes the Tackle Attack. He's rolling straight to us. And bam, Scratch Attack for the win. That's right. Eat it. That's right. And just like that, we gain 55 experience points, and we grow a level. Bam! Okay, alrighty. And look at that. We <laughs> just learned to move. Branch poke. Okay, alright. It's not over yet. I've added another trusty ally to my team. And here he comes out with his starter Pokemon, Sobble, at level 5. Lucked for us, we got ourselves a new move, Branch poke. Wonder what this is. And, of course, Sobble's a little faster than us right now. But here we go, branch poke, bam, poke him. It's super effective. Did you already know about uh, type advantages? I've always known about type advantages. Here we go, finish him off with a branch poke. Of course, he's gonna go with the growl. It's okay, Optimus. We're gonna kick this ass right here. So here we go, branch poke for the win. Eat it, Hop. And there it is, Sobble has been defeated. And a look at that. We get more experience points, and we grow to level 7. Kicking that ass, taking those names. Look at that. Alrighty. You beat my two Pokemon with your one? You and Grookey are too much. And look at that. We get the spoils of battle. 400 bucks. You know, easy, easy money. Well, that was a shock. Guess I know how... Guess I know why uh, Lee taught he... Or thought he should give you a Pokemon, too. You and your Pokemon are all all fought hard. Made me most want to get let out Charizard and join in in all the fun. Yeah, and kick our asses, especially at level five, man. You, you, you stay in your lane, man. We'll get to you in like maybe 50 episodes or so. I don't know. Good effort out there, Grookey. Why don't I get you all sorted? And we're all healed up right here. And Draven, you've got real promise. In fact, I've got a favor to ask of you. Be a real viable to hop, would you? Push him and make the both of you stronger. I already want to get stronger and stronger. You see me in battle now, Lee. So come on, you've got to let me take on the Pokemon gyms. You? Join the gym challenge? You think you're ready for the single greatest competition in Galar in the Galar region? I'm not putting the cart before the Rapidash there, little brother. If that's really what you want to do, you two have a lot you need to learn about Pokemon, especially your friend Draven. Before you think about getting gym badges, best to think about getting a Pokédex. A trainer's Pokédex helps them learn lots of things about Pokémon out there, including their strengths. But it's more than just a collection of data, you know, uh, you know? It's a record of a trainer's love and passion for Pokémon training. Right, right, we get it! Pokédex is then! We're on it! Looks like it's off to the Pokémon Research Lab for you and me, Draven. That's kind of the enthusiasm a trainer needs. I'll let the professor know you, uh, know to expect you. I'm going to be the next champion, so completing a simple Pokedex will be nothing. Just another page in the tale of my legend. You'd probably go and tell your mom that we're heading out, though. Okay. Alrighty, so... Wow. What an episode, right, guys? Very first episode. Pokemon Sword. Holy crud, this has been something. And I'm, I'm actually very, very excited to just continue on this whole thing. So... This is where the first episode will conclude. Um, let's see. Lexi, let's go ahead and take a look at our first Pokemon right here, and that is Grookey, the grass-type Pokemon. Eventually, like, 
you will be able to change its nickname right now. I know I kind of screwed up, but let's go ahead and take a look at this Pokemon right here. As you can see, Grookey is a grass-type Pokemon, level 7 female, and, well, as you can see, its attack right there. It's pretty high. Defense, pretty good. It is a beefy Pokemon. Its ability is Overgrow, which powers up grass-type moves when the Pokemon's HP is low. Now, we only got three moves, but eventually I'll learn some pretty uh, awesome moves right there. I do have a team in mind for this Pokemon, and, well, look at that. Quick Tempered and all that stuff. Now, the 17th, yes, I always do my, uh, my walkthrough videos a little bit earlier than expected, but let's just say this. Today is the 19th. 10-year anniversary, guys. 10 years. Again, I am, uh... Wow. I don't know what to say, guys. Um, you know, I never thought that I would actually I would actually be here on YouTube still making videos for 10 long years, guys. 10 years. 2010. I remember wanting to do this by the start of 2011. And, of course, I got a little... I got a little antsy, so I decided, you know what? Screw it. I want to do it now. And it came out with my Pokemon Leaf Green. Now... I know many of you guys are wondering, where are all your videos from that time? Well, I deleted them all. If you guys remember, when I was driving XC711, there was just a lot of BS going on. There was BS going on. There was a lot of things that I did not like about the walkthroughs that I created. So I deleted them all, made Gym Leader Draven. That channel got deleted, and then after, the, after that, we created this. Well, we came back to this channel, changed it, bam. And we finally reached 8,000 subscribers. And this year alone, we actually got 2,000 subscribers. A little more than expected. So, again, guys, thank you. Thank you guys for being supportive. Thank you guys for the 10 years. Uh, in the next episode, we will be going and getting our Pokedexes and doing all these uh, introduction stuff. It's, it's, a long, it's a long time before you actually get out there, guys. But we're going to have some fun right here. So, again, thank you guys for watching. Stay safe. Stay positive, guys. I will be back for another episode of Pokemon Sword right here on Gym Leader Draven Channel. See you guys.